And how about that one, Greg? And out of this world weekend, the UFO day. Wow, those dogs are cute. And, and the <laughs> dogs, too. The dogs, too. Now, are the dogs, you know, as good looking as the weather? Or? Well, I think a lot of people like the rain and want the rain right now, so that's the positive news. Unfortunately, it may come kind of, kind of heavy. So as we look at really the radar right now, as you see in the picture, it's showing a lot of precipitation occurring right now, but not severe. That's the good news. Everything is kind of weakened, so I think we're just going to see really just rainfall as we go through the night as we look at the scope there. Let's get a closer view of it. We can actually go on to what we kind of expect beyond just the rain tonight, but we are going to see more showers and thunderstorms probably come tomorrow too as the slow remains. Even maybe a severe storm or two tomorrow. Cool conditions really going to be story next week. The 90s are going to be pretty much gone for the time being, and maybe another rain chance coming in about midweek. But overall tonight, it's going to be wet at least through about 11 or 12 p.m., and I think we'll see a break overall and then rain coming back in. So once again, mid 70s will be kind of a muggy night with the showers and thunderstorms ending probably towards morning. Tomorrow, it's going to be on and off showers, probably more in the afternoon with even more some thunderstorms. Once again, we can't rule out a severe storm tomorrow either, but temperatures will be much cooler. You look at mid-70s with maybe a wind turning from the southwest to the northwest behind the front coming through. Big picture shows that activity coming through. Here's that second wave that comes through tonight, and then it wraps up. You can see that low push in eastward. That provides our showers and possible thunderstorms tomorrow, and that'll linger actually all the way through Monday. That low really is parked right here through Monday. So with this backflow like that, we'll continue to see a few showers and cool conditions Monday. Once this lifts north, we got warmer air coming back in place, but it's not going to be anything like we saw last week. So we'll get back into the low 80s, which is where we should be this time of year. Really pleasant conditions and dry. And the next low that comes is really parked out to the west. That'll provide our next chance maybe Thursday into Friday. Overall, you'll see here's this first wave coming through. Showers and thunderstorms lift north. We'll have a break around 10 to maybe midnight, and then we'll see maybe another round come in late tonight with a few scattered ahead of that. That'll be more like as we go to 3 to 4, even 6 to 7 in the morning. This should not be severe as it gets through here. We'll have to keep an eye to see if we have it. And then after all, tomorrow, once we wake up in the mid-60s, we'll have a break, and then you see the whole rotation rotating around. We'll see showers and a few thunderstorms pop up once again tomorrow afternoon, and some of these, once again, could be strong or severe. They'll be isolated and not really. You'll see some sunshine in between, but you'll still get up to the mid 70s. But we'll have to keep an eye on some of these cells tomorrow because they could be strong or severe in the afternoon. So if you got plans tomorrow, keep an eye on that. By tomorrow night, everything starts clearing out a little bit. And then as we go through Monday, we're going to start seeing more or less the showers kind of come to the end. So overall, as we see the eight day forecast, once we get past the uh, showers Monday, we actually get to cooler temperatures. Tuesday and then we go back to more normal conditions. There's that rain chance Thursday and Friday. Once again, there's no 90s at all, which is positive. We are going to get some rain, but unfortunately we might get a little bit of heavy rain tonight. So something to consider when you're out and about tonight. I don't see a severe threat. You might have some small hail with it, but heavy rain will be something to keep an eye on. So it will probably impact a lot of activities this, this evening. You know, I, I I'm not for the rain, but I do enjoy the 90 degree temperatures. I mean, I, I, I'm all for heat and humid, humidity. Fun fact about me, folks. 